Hi, this is Robbie with Tickner Photography. I wanted to do another little macro demonstration of these uh, macro filters. I found a beetle kind of lying dead last night, so I picked it up and I thought I would photograph it today. I'm going to start with a 100mm macro lens shooting at 1 to 1 resolution. Then we will put 69 millimeters of macro extension tubes on there. So that should get us pretty close to 2 to 1 magnification. And then we're going to stick the 10x magnification close-up uh, filter on the front of that and see what it looks like. This should take us to ultra macro uh, magnifications. I'm not exactly sure how close it will get us. It's my first experiment using the entire set of uh, magnification tools. So let's see what we can get. First, I'm going to shoot this beetle here with the 100 millimeter macro um, at its closest focus distance, so it'll be one to one on the sensor. We'll be shooting about f14, one two fiftieth of a second, and ISO 100. So let's take our first shot and see what this beetle looks like. So there's the first shot of our beetle at 1 to 1 magnification. Let's stick some extension tubes on there and see how much bigger we can make this beetle get. I'm using all of the extension tubes I have. It's a 13, a 20, and a 36 put together. So that equals 69 millimeters of extension tubes. Our lens gets very big. And because we're using macro extension tubes, we lost a ton of light. Here you can see the difference between non-extension tubes and 69 millimeters of extension tubes. We've lost probably two stops of light, so I have to increase my light sources to compensate. Okay, that's looking quite a bit better. We're still a little bit dark. Alright, there we go. Now we have a nicely exposed beetle. Alright, so our next step is to put the uh, big eyeglasses on the front of this lens and see where it gets us. I'm going to take the lens hood off and screw on this uh, filter. Alright, when you first put it on, you can't even tell what you're looking at here. Wow. Alright, sure enough, that, that increased our magnification by probably ten times, substantially. That's awesome. We didn't lose any light when I put the 10x magnification on there. And we're getting some really nice detail, some really good color with this. So I'm, I'm happy. I think I'm going to do a, a macro focus stack with this uh, same kind of pose, I guess, and then I'll rearrange them. But I thought you might find this interesting, how much additional magnification you can get with a 8 or a $10 filter. So, really cool. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.